Right, we're back again. We're going to be trying something I've wanted to try for a little while now. Um, some black flower blooms. But I want to use some gold with it. I'm going to kind of make this up as I go along, I think. <laughs> and see what we get. So I've got the mould here from mouldsandshapes.com. That's the fantasy mould. I'll pop the link in the description. Uh, we're going to be using the black armor art pigment paste for the black petals. I might use this. It's the metallics gold alcohol ink. I might just mix things up and, and do different kind of experiments, but I'll show you. And I've also got some of the gold Let's Resin Mica Powder. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of just make this up as I go along. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get some good results. I'm going to start mixing. All right, so as always, we're using the Collaboration Resin. Pour quite a bit into mine but I'm just gonna as the previous videos just let that sit to warm up then we're gonna bag up our colors I won't show all that stuff because you've seen how I've done it before um, and then we'll just start piping away right so what I've done is this one here is just the black armor art and I've just put a small dash of black mica powder in this one here I've mixed the black armor art with some gold I don't know if you can really see it some gold mica powder and then this one here is just resin and gold mica powder for some detailing. I've also got a small cup of some gold leaf, which I might use as a center. So my resin is just getting to temperature now. So I'm going to get these colors bagged up. If you're new to my channel, go and check out um, hashtag 45, number 45. It shows you kind of most of the, um, the basics of waiting times and and how the bloom works. Right, I'll see you in a moment. Right, what I've done with this one is I've just gone round the outside with some of that gold leaf before I add my resin. But I'm gonna get my bag snipped so I can work pretty fast. So I'm just snipping off the end. Not too much to begin with. We can always cut more off if it's not enough. I really hope this works. <laughs> it's very different to what I normally do. Right. Let's get poured in. Try and take you down a little bit more. So my resin has been sitting for about 10 to 15 minutes whilst I've been mixing my other colours up. Hopefully that gold won't drift inwards. And then just top, make sure this one here needs a bit more. Again, massive shout out to my channel members as always. I think we are good to go. Yeah, massive shout out to my channel members. Returning subs, new subs. Right, let's add a gold center to one of them. I feel like I need to do it to the one that I've added it around the outside. I need to work quickly because my resin is gonna start contracting so to speak which you know is that window of opportunity like I've mentioned that we need our bloom so let's start lock my focus there I'm not really going to go with any kind of particular pattern I don't think Just hope this black is opaque enough. No, what's it doing? I've never had that before. It's like it's bleeding out. It's going with some gold. I'm 
never had that. Maybe my pigment is um, slightly off. Sorry, my focus wasn't on. Let's try the black and gold. Ooh. It's got like a funny streak to the end of it. What is that? Whatever it is, it's just dolloped inside the resin. <laughs> we must continue. Regardless. I have this horrible feeling that this has gone wrong. Already. I've never had that kind of blurring before very new for me or new to me it's got like a funny skin see that is really blurred out I'm gonna have to go in with some more and just hope we can salvage it Probably just going to do the same thing now, isn't it? But I love that shimmer already. You never know, it could be one of those accidental pieces of art. <laughs> right, let's keep moving. Just doing some strange things. I don't like it. Let's start with some gold first on this one. The gold seems to be behaving, I think. And doing everything the way that I normally would. Maybe it's the mica powder that I added. Strange. Very strange. Now with this one I'm going to try adding some of the gold alcohol ink. Just see what happens. It can sink, I've had this sink before. Let's lock my focus. See, it's, it's just blurring out. I don't get it. Never had that. But like I said, we're going to continue. I have to. Just to see what they come out like. But I'm going to have to go over these again, I think. Look at them. Strange mess. really not sure what that's doing it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing anyway answers in the comments please what could have caused that it's kind of just bubbled there look Weird, but I'm adding, I'm now adding a little bit too much resin and I'm worried it's going to overspill. Let's 
Very odd. There must be someone watching this. If I upload it, they could come out shocking. <laughs> there must be someone that, that knows what's happening here. Because I certainly don't. It's very, very new. I don't like it. I need some gold in this one as well, I think. If I've got any left, I'm trying to just go around the outer edge if I can. Squeeze my last bit out. Come on. Right, what more can I do? But wait, really? And hopefully, they'll turn out okay. Right, we'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes to do our little design stuff. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really nervous. <laughs> See you in a bit. It's only been a few minutes, but I'm just gonna do it now. <laughs> I'm really, really nervous over this one. Hoping the underside looks fine. I've had something not similar, but that kind of weird circling bubbling effect when I had water in my resin once. But that's not the case this time. I'm thinking that gold's going to blob. The gold mica. See here, it's got a really weird dark area. It's going to be okay, Dan. It's going to be okay. I mean, visually now it looks, you know, it doesn't look too bad. I've just got to remember not to swell the middle of this one because of the um, gold flakes. Looks like, um, what's that stone, tiger eye? Looks like that at the moment. Let's come out on these ones. I'm feeling a bit better now. Just a little bit. I'm gonna just swell carefully. Yeah, panic over I think. Unless that gold blobs. I'll have to name this from panic to wow. <laughs> Hopefully. Now I think on this one I'm going to come out. I'm going to leave the gold that's in the middle. Just draw out on each one.
And then we're going to do the swirl in the middle. Right. Panic over, I think. Now they look okay. Right. <laughs> I'll see you for the D mold. <laughs> right, I'm really nervous. Um, they're still a bit soft, but I really, I can't wait. I need to get them out. <laughs> I'm really, really nervous as to whether this is worked or not. Wow. It's certainly golden. A bit more gold over this side than this side, but... That's a, that's a good start. Very good start. Where should we go next? Oh, I drew some just I just drew some tips through this off camera. Just went up through each petal, as you can see. I don't know where to go next. This one's gone a bit off center. Down here. I think we'll go for the one with the gold next. And just fingers crossed. It's a bit transparent this one. Wow, it's definitely got some depth to it. And some shimmer. Almost blobbed. Very close. I think I'm going to leave that one till last. We'll do the one where I did the, the gold alcohol ink to... Wow. You can see the speckles of gold just highlighting the black. That is super cool. Not as much gold over this side as I'd hoped, but that's still really nice. Oh, I'm relieved. Last one. Definitely went from a, an oh no, what's going on to, wow. <laughs> wow. Look at the detail. Very, very 3D. And that gold is just, I need to, <laughs> I need to do these more. That's just incredible. Look at that detail in, in the leaves. It's got to be my best bloom so far. Definitely. Love that 3D effect. Right, as always guys, give the video a thumbs up. Hit the sub button if you haven't already. And drop me a comment. And I'll, <laughs> I'll be trying this again soon. Right, see you for the next one. Bye for now.